Woods Chapel Church began partnering with the Rainbow Network in May of 2013 to sponsor the village of Los Pinos. On our trips, we have helped feed the children in the feeding center, spend time in the schools, participated in microloan ceremonies, worked on various projects in the village, and spent time just getting to know the families. On our January trip this year, we purchased land in the village for a new housing project. We have raised the funds for 25 new homes, which will be built this year. On the very first day that I got to Los Pinos, two little girls came to me right away, just like I was no stranger. And so I noticed that there was no adult with them. They were just kind of running around by themselves. And I asked them where their mother was. Show me your house. Where is your mother? And so they took me into the house and I met the mother and through broken Spanish and muddling through, I learned that nine people lived in that house and I saw two beds and one hammock. And so I asked the mother where all the kids slept and she told me they slept on the ground. So this touched me and broke my heart because I have two little girls about the same age at my house and I just can't imagine what it would be like to put my children to bed each night on the ground. In April of 2013, Pastor Jeff presented a mission field for Woods Chapel congregation to consider being a part of. As I listened to him explain the needs in Nicaragua, I didn't know how God was going to use me, what I would be doing, how I would be affected, or how the people of Los Pinos would be affected. I truly understand what Jesus said in Luke 10, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. My hope is that other churches and organizations follow Jesus' call for laborers in the field. This experience has deepened my relationship with Jesus Christ. I am thankful he provided the means and the way for me to be part of this mission trip. Our team understood the special role we were to play in this new mission. We were beginning the process of relationship building. I had intended to help with the education team, but upon our arrival and meeting with the village leaders, we realized we needed to spend time gathering information about each family in Los Pinos. We needed our church family to come to know the people of Los Pinos so they could become part of the family too. Another team member and I found a village map, we grabbed a translator, a notebook and pencil, and our cameras and set out to meet as many of the 80 families at their homes as we could. During the rainy season, walking the road and trails was a bit challenging, but over two days, we were able to meet with over 60 of the families. These were brief conversations, as you can imagine, but I remember one in particular. The senior member of the house, a 70-plus-year-old man, told us that other people had come, saying that they would help the village, and never came back. This broke our hearts. We told them we would not do that, but we understood the building trust would be part of the process. The families of Los Pinos are becoming part of the Woods Chapel family. I personally can't wait to go back. I hope you've learned a little bit today about our partnership with the Rainbow Network and our work in Los Pinos. If you would like more information, please go to our church website. We would love to have you join us in this mission as we bless the people of Nicaragua.